What's going on, cowboy? In this video, we've got a new crypto project that is very interesting. It's called 1 to 11, and we've got one of the co founders here. He's the COO. His name is Anir, and we're going to be frying him up and grilling him for questions because we need to find out hey, is he a scam? Is he a legit project? Is this going to make us money? Is this, is this a project going to the future, you know, like going somewhere, or is this a dud? Look, if you're new to this channel, my name is Aaron. I'm going to journey to your next Bitcoin. Actually, I'm trying to help you to your next Bitcoin. I'm a lizard brain, grill arm, diamond handed cowboy. I'm not your financial advisor, but if you want to roll with me and a whole bunch of other cowboys, hit the subscribe button down below. Look, understand this. When we're doing research on YouTube for these new crypto projects, the, the YouTubers are getting paid to shill coins that they don't care about. So what happens with that process is we get terrible information and the developer gets a bad representation of who they are as a, as a passion project. So why I like the AMAs and why we need to take time to just like dive into the soul of these developers is we need to figure out as a vet, you know, you, you're good at, you know, determining who you trust, like belly to belly, eye to eye, face to face, who can you trust? And uh, the developer gets to talk about their projects with passion, with insight, with wisdom. I get to be compensated and I get to ask the questions that I want. And you and I get the best source of information that we could possibly find better, in my opinion, than any website or even community developer like managers, because sometimes they don't know. And so in this video today, we've got 1 to 11, this new crypto project, and we've got Anir, their co-founder, in the hot seat. Guys, be a like, special welcome to Anir. You are in the hot seat, man. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks for the warm welcome. Uh... Let's let's start, man. And uh, definitely, it's it, there. I I do understand that a lot of lot of companies on paper raising millions of dollars just pump and dump. We are a, a company with over 1.5 million transactional users. So there are a lot of informations coming in, guys. There's a solid project with solid token usability. Let's start, bro. And completely awesome yeah. awesome anir before we even get there i want to know about you briefly mm -hmm. where where are, what's your background coming into crypto mm -hmm. so uh, primarily speaking i am i'm coming from like i'm a serial entrepreneur uh not only me the entire team the good part i don't like to use the word serial entrepreneur because it's a cliche i would say experienced entrepreneurs who have already been there and done that uh we have built india's largest scholarship platform uh, buddy for study this co-founding team uh we scaled the business from zero to 4.5 million users uh from uh, from not only from india but from across the globe along with that our, our, our other uh, like my, my ceo and cto they've all also built a company called one ad which acquired more than 30 million um, users they were ranked number one in in in, in google in two categories with over 4.4 rating and over 100k reviews uh, so crazy bunch of people coming together they're not only uh, uh, entrepreneurs but we have been investing in in this space from quite a long time uh, and as far as this crypto space is concerned uh, uh, we, we last year during the COVID, it, it was a very tough uh, time for everybody from across the globe. Uh, and that point of time, we were also being a gamer since all, the good part about all the founders, they're not only entrepreneurs, but they also play games. So we were playing games, but we felt that we can do better in the play to earn segments. Uh, we wanted to change the dynamics. I'm a big, huge admirer of Axie Infinity and, and I've been playing the game as well. So. That's where uh, we felt that we started with a very small product in this fantasy space uh, 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 with a product called Cricket. Uh, now we have more than seven games in our portfolio. Uh, so and we I'll tell you about the numbers and everything. But we started off with one game. Now we have over 1.5 million transactional users on our platform. Uh, and uh, and that's how the community has grown. We we uh, we are primarily speaking, we are more strong in tech. And uh, first, we believed in building the product and giving a world class gaming experience where people can not only play the game, enjoy the game, but also can make money out of it. So that was the whole objective of coming into the space uh, and, and coming up with the product. So I was always yeah. very closely working in the space, but uh, coming up with your own product, with your own baby, uh, it's, it's something very special for all of us. Got it. So, okay. So let me get this straight. You are a experienced entrepreneur linked up with other experienced entrepreneurs who have found rapid success. And I'm sure if anyone wants to do their own research, they could go on your LinkedIn profiles of and course. on the websites and you could do your research there. I'm not going to yeah. fact check you on here, yeah. but it's a, it's one of those things where like you are bringing an experience on like project management, tech, game development, and all that stuff and your and scalability. And you bring it into the crypto space 
and you said you've already started developing games and already have a track record and already got over like millions of yeah. of users and and transactions being made on uh, on your platform. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that sounds amazing actually like that sounds very respectable and matter of fact i could learn from you i'm, I'm sensing during this interview so help me un understand what is you know this this project that you've gotten one to eleven what does that mean what what's the project here so one to eleven um if the vision of the company is uh, the vision of the company is to build world largest play to earn ecosystem of games okay ecosystem of games on blockchain Okay, uh, the biggest difference between us and any other play to earn platform with all due respect to all the all the companies who are doing extremely well is we are not only the space of RPG, we, we have three categories, four categories of games on our platform. We started off with fantasy games, okay, where you have uh, cricket, soccer, uh, uh, like um, hockey, all these kinds of games. Second game is, is we call it digital or casual games. Let's suppose me and you want to play a game of chess or a game of cards or a game of Ludo, which is not dependent on any external event. So at the very start, uh, I don't know if I have to tell you very honestly, like when we started, we never thought that we will bring so many products at a, such a short period of time. So we started with one uh, area that is a fantasy. Then, we've, uh, then we launched the second category of games, which we call digital or casual games. Okay. Uh, because the fantasy games has one demerit the demerit of these games when you have a lot of games when you have world cups when you have a lot of gaming events then a lot of traffic comes into the picture but as soon as these games goes out of the season then there's a dip in the traffic in every platform across the globe so we launched the second category of game which we call uh, the the digital or casual games where me and aaron can come to our platform we can start playing it okay we don't need any external event the third category of game that we will launch, because I told you that um, uh, two of the co-founders, like me and Manasvi, we come from a very strong ed tech background. We have built India's largest scholarship platform, okay, uh, where we have uh, not only built that, we have raised uh, Series A funding from Michael and Suzelle Dell Foundation. If you know, they are the and uh, they are one of the impact investors. We were backed by one of the best impact investors. So the third category of game that we built is gamified learning, which we call it Quiz. Okay, uh, where let's suppose me and Aaron want to compete on DeFi or physics, chemistry, biology or Hollywood, Bollywood trivia, right? So you can compete on that and you can not only compete, you can play, you can learn and also you can earn money through that. Okay. And the fourth category of game that we are building, it might it might be sound uh, uh, so crazy because actually we have built uh, games in each of the domain and we're continuously building it. The fourth category of game that we are building is the widely popular game, the RPG and NFT games. Okay, so that's the reason that's the most unique part about our product uh, uh, is that we have a uh, we have a gaming ecosystem and the mission of the company is we want to make a gaming a profession. We want that gamers should make money through it and can make a living. Because when I used to play in my, uh, in my during my school days, my father always used to say hey, that nothing will happen uh, if, you, if you play games. So you need to focus on studies and make your career. But now I can tell you there are people in our platform who are making like in one of uh, in one of our games, like in fantasy cricket, one of the one of the highest earner of a month was almost 20K US dollars. OK, last month. Okay, so there, there are people who are making uh, not only money, but actually making a social network. Okay, I, we call it world's first social, uh, uh, social uh, gaming platform. Okay, uh, that's, that's the beauty of the platform. As we go on, I'll tell you, describe more about how, uh, how this social element is helping us to differentiate and create a whole new category in the gaming arena. Okay. Wow. I'd look, I mean, first of all, your, your passion and your fire is very, very contagious for me. I'm excited, like listening to you talk about this, but let me break this down for people who might've missed it. You have four categories of games. I'm looking, just looking at my notes here. You have like uh, what you call fantasy games, but what I call sports games, right? Like cricket and all this kind of stuff. So fantasy games, you have casual games, 
games. includes chess. It includes chess. You have quiz games that includes quiz like learn, like, like you know the nerdy stuff, stuff, like what you know like what's what thermodynamics and blah blah blah, right? That and then I don't mean to blah blah blah, but it, to me it's like lizard brain, right? And fourth is RP, RP, RPG NFT games. And what I found most interesting was that you saw that there are different traffic patterns, and that in those dips, that's why you have different types of games that are not. Uh, mm-hmm. subservient, uh, to subservient to external, external factors, external factors which was very insightful to me and it shows like a lot of experience i think in in this game like a lot of these other projects are developing one game and you sense like there's traffic patterns and that's why they got to keep on you know coming up with like a dancing monkey to like get you excited here but this seems like sustained growth and there's always a niche for you know there's the everyone's competing in the rpg dragons and all that kind of stuff but if you bring in chess if you bring in a cricket so it, it, it so seems it like seems you're like taking the lion's the share of a very of a untapped, untapped niche, niche, which I absolutely, absolutely love. You know, what I mean, I absolutely yeah. love it. I love that yeah. you said that your your mission is to make gaming a profession. Uh, yes. What do you mean by that, and how do you make twenty thousand dollars a month on that? Like, explain that to me. Mm-hmm. So, a great question. So. Uh, when we started, we felt that uh, uh, we felt one uh, um, like through our lot of we do continuous service. So we we don't build product just for the sake of building product. So all the growth, if I if I talk about the numbers that we have achieved uh, uh, over in eleven months, one point five million transactional users, fifteen million transactional transactions have already happened. Our gross M- uh, GMV is five million. Uh, our daily active users is more than hundred k. Our monthly active users has crossed even. 800k these numbers are are us are, are and the most interesting thing aaron we have not spent a single penny on marketing how we did that now it's that's what you're asking like how uh, we have grown um, a is definitely uh, when when we came into the picture uh, there are, we are there are big sharks they're billion dollar companies who are spending uh, like almost 20k uh, sorry uh, $20 to even $10 to $20 to acquire one customer and Aaron we have not spent a single penny on marketing in the first 11 months of our journey Okay, the the biggest focus was uh, our uh, you if you are a player in our platform, you should earn as much you should earn more than the platform. Okay, so what over here you can earn in three ways, Aaron. You can earn by playing the game. Okay, you can earn. We have a very strong uh, referral program. You can earn uh, by actually uh, through through reference by by uh, through referral and loyalty program. And the third is you can earn uh, through your network when you are sleeping. Let's suppose uh, Aaron brings Anir on the platform, and Anir brings ten other people on the platform. If we are playing. Okay, and if we are playing, if Aaron is not even playing, Aaron is just acting as a community manager. You end up getting, uh, um, you you end up getting some part of the money if if uh, from from our earnings. So that's the most interesting part. Okay, and the biggest challenge that we face, if you see the play to earn ecosystem, uh, if uh, majority of the play to earn games are being dominated by people from the age group of 18 to 26 okay 18 to 26 the major major chunk of people okay and um but uh, uh, there are a lot of other like there uh, there are a lot of other people like from uh, over 30 or over 50 they might not like the play to earn axie infinity games with all due respect like they're doing great but uh that's the reason we came up with different category of products so aaron if you ask me who are our direct competitors we don't have any direct competitors because every product of mine is competing with one billion dollar company and the beauty of it if you don't like fantasy you can you can play um uh, digital or educational games or even rpg games that's the reason our governance token the 1 to 11 token will will have a very high demand not only of the existing traction but it becomes the usability of the tokens becomes very high so earnings are primarily from these parameters so it's not that through one game the person is playing different other games and also making money through references and through their networks. And uh, I just want to add one thing which which actually differentiate us from any other uh, platform. So everything started from a problem. Like I'm, if you say 
uh, I'm more of a problem solver or the entire team of the co-founders. We are more problem solvers than a passionate individual. We first try to figure out, is this a problem which is worth solving? So we as a gamer, when we were playing in our competitors platform, like I, I don't want to name them, but very big fantasy games. They, they are like now unicorns, $5 billion worth of company. Uh, 12 years they're in the space uh, from India. they are many know from India and across the globe. When I'm playing that, uh, I felt that I'm playing against the bots. Okay, I don't know. The, uh, I'm just giving you a feature. Uh, uh, when when we were playing, we said, okay, Aaron won the competition. But I cannot find Aaron in social media. I cannot chat with Aaron. But in our platform, you can not only uh, be able to see Aaron, but you can see his LinkedIn, Twitter, um, Instagram. And also, I can chat with Aaron in Hindi and English. We are coming up with other languages like Spanish, Mandarin, which actually making our ecosystem itself a social platform. So uh, and now, now if you, if your audience go to our Twitter, I was I was having a joke with one of my investors. So he uh, almost two months back, he he checked our profile. He said, "Crazy numbers, guys! You guys are crazy." But why there is no such presence in social media? I said, "My platform itself is a social media." right so uh so uh, just three months back yeah. our twitter handle was having just for uh four four hundred followers now we have grown to 21k but that's the point we don't need any external social media to increase our community so there are a lot of features in the app i'll request you also you can download the app and uh you can check the app um and all the audience who are, who are listening to it uh rock solid community of 1.5 million uh crazy gamers uh playing all sort of games well, this is very, 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 very interesting. Okay, so you've got you got so you ran down the numbers: one point five million users, fifteen million transactions, eight hundred uh, thousand monthly uh, users, active users. Fanta fantastic numbers, Thank fantastic you so much. numbers. And you've said uh, three basic ways to make uh, money: is a referral program for loyalty, playing the game, and then the network was the the craziest idea to me. But it sounds so awesome because. To now, now you're incentivized to bring in like your chess club. If you like chess and you got a chess club or a chess group, you bring that whole group in, you sign them all up, you make the money on the rewards or everyone makes that. And then you make the money on the, on the, on, when they play on the network. So it, it, it's like now I'm bringing in an ecosystem. So mm -hmm. you're onboarding ecosystems of people, not just individuals. And I always thought this, this was always like a big problem and you just nailed it on the head. Yeah. When I'm playing Splinterlands or something, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm playing a bot. Like I, I don't know who this person. Absolutely. I see a name, and that's like it's like okay, whatever. They, it's so there. So it's it's fantastic, and that's the whole essence of gaming anyway. Is like to be us in a social atmosphere. But here's my problem, uh, Anir. This might this is an initial problem that I'm seeing, but help me to understand it. You said that you've got four different categories of games, mm -hmm. and you're onboarding many games at, at a time. Like it's cricket and sports and all this stuff and you've got chess and you got how is it that you're able to onboard so many different types of games uh who's your developers are you partnered with a developing uh, game developing company do you whoa, have in-house in that's that's how that's, does that work that's something uh, i never ever being an entrepreneur being built two two successful companies it's it's uh, it's crazy when I see people to go for dev shops. They actually outsource. So the strength of the company comes from the tech, and tech should be in house. The, uh, so in our company, we we started off now uh, la like last two months back. It was like 20, 21 engineers and four co-founders. Now we have grown to thirty two. We are constantly hiring. If anyone in your audience want to is a great blockchain developer, uh, then. Uh, you can drop a CV, you can drop a message to LinkedIn. So we don't have any content guys. We don't have any marketing guys. If you ask me, we are very bad in marketing, okay? Because uh, we have started learning. We have great advisors. One of the advisors is also the founding member of Hadera. You guys know, I, I hope you and your audience know Hadera and RSR Reserve. So Andrew Masanto, uh, the, he has built two unicorns. So he's helping us in creating the brand. So if you ask us, we know our strength. We know our weaknesses. Our strength is tech and uh, product product led growth uh, all the products that you see are in house it was very challenging at the beginning even we never thought if we would have interviewed almost 11 months back we never thought we thought we will just build one product okay but with, with with the momentum with the kind of uh, with the kind of uh, hiring that we have done we are not only built 
we executed and we also got the traction on place see no matter what i say okay at the end of the day numbers speaks louder than word okay and that's that's the reason i'm i'm it's bring a lot of responsibility for us as well so it's forget about the investors if i screw up my entire community of over a million users uh, they will be pissed miserably so the, uh, so it comes with a lot of responsibility and uh, and uh, i i often get amazed when i see a lot of um, i won't say a lot of paper based companies uh, with lot of glamorous uh, twitter handles with lot of bots and telegram no offense i'm i'm very raw when i speak uh, and uh, crazy numbers but they don't have the project at the end of the day no matter what marketing you do if your token has does not have any usability it won't last in the market okay uh, and we have seen again and again yeah. uh, so that's that's uh, so in house completely A entire engineering team is in house and we are hiring extensively now so so i i get that so for me mar i'm a marketer at heart right and so when you when i hear uh, you are focusing on your game and your platform first i love that because to me how can you market a piece of crap you know what i mean like so for for you it's like hey earn focus first that is like where you are trying to make the the player earn as much as possible more than the the platform is making i get that but i i'm still stumped like marketing is still like that first impression why was there such a lack of uh, focus on marketing up until now of course yes thank you so much no matter how good is your garnishing okay i hope you are a foodie i am a big foodie right no matter how good is your garnishing if if your food sucks sorry to use this word if your food sucks like you can bring your customers once but they won't come again so we laser focus on on uh, on our product and process innovation that's what i always say right uh, but having said that i am not uh, see aaron if i have to tell you to sell a crap product you won't no marketing any uh, good good marketing can kill a bad product faster okay good marketing can kill a bad product faster yeah. so we felt that first yeah, exactly. get get product market fit the unfortunate part of most of the entrepreneurs from i see i'm not that much age i'm just i've just crossed 30 uh, i'm the youngest in the team but i've seen a lot of young entrepreneurs they do the first big mistake um, without solving the pain without getting the product market fit they jump into the market they go to the vcs they go to the investors okay and these days like in this space particularly in crypto space everybody is throwing money they just want to put money in everywhere so raising funds is easy but if you really want a sustainable career okay and you want your token usability you need to have a very strong product so marketing is very important but before marketing you need to have your product which solve a real problem if I, if i tell you what is the real problem that we are solving uh, i i often told my friends uh, that we are actually creating employments and and i will give you a very interesting uh, fact uh, all our games are currently played by uh, developing countries or developing states okay uh, like where for example in india uh, there are metropolitan cities uh, there are tier 2 tier uh, tier 3 cities as well where even spending an hour can uh, can make you a dollar right and if you see the play to earn ecosystem the majority of the games are primarily playing by develop, developing countries like latam uh, africa vietnam philippines india pakistan bangladesh it's not the people from america they are the people that like your audience 30% audience they are the actual buyers of the token so they will be more benefit fitted but there is a very strong community of of of, of players and these players like if if you ask someone in uh, in us in in florida can you will you spend an hour to get a dollar but they will say no no definitely not but in india or in vietnam it completely makes sense so that's the reason the majority of the mining of the of the tokens are happening in these developing countries and that's the reason play to earn is the next big thing and we are actually creating employment uh, where where with all due respect tiktok has made money through promotion and marketing but over here everybody in the ecosystem through blockchain makes money that's the beauty yeah but that's awesome. That's I, I, I absolutely I love it. I love that this is like a new paradigm shift for how people can put food on the table in different countries. So I, I'm literally loving it. But there is another little problem here that I see is how is this even sustainable? Where's the money coming from? Everyone is trying to make more money to play to earn. How is this possible? Like, where does the money come from? from supplying players to earn basically absolutely very good question so what happened is uh, um, for that that's the reason we came up with an ecosystem of games just for example let's suppose me and you want to play a game of quiz okay 
uh, how it happens currently. So uh, I put ten dollars, you put ten dollars, twenty dollars of game, okay. And um, the, so the platform takes a very flat fee of uh, ten percent, which is close to two dollars, uh, or let's suppose for, for three, uh, not two. Two is not the right example. Let's suppose a, a team of like three or four people. Uh, so five people came into the platform playing quiz all together, all at a time. Uh, all put ten ten dollars, cost fifty dollars, uh, and five uh, ten percent of that. That is five percent goes to the platform as as for maintaining or creating this ecosystem and this remaining um, uh, 30 uh, 45 dollars is been spread among the top uh, three contestants so that's how um, so it's not a zero sum game uh, because over here we have figured out various other ways where let's suppose aaron is not a great gamer but he's a very good community holder so we uh, so that's that's the reason the mm -hmm. royalty program and also the networking program so there are i i will tell you there are a lot of big earners in our platform who are not great gamers but they're very good communicators so we have empowered them with features like uh, chat we have empowered them with features like group in our in our uh, uh, like app itself okay and it's a mobile friendly so you don't have to open your laptop to play these games that's the coolest part about it so there are a lot of differentiator so aaron uh it's very difficult to communicate the entire thing you know uh, how passionate i am like you can already observe that so uh, there are a lot of features that we have brought it based on our previous experiences uh, so uh, where where you can actually create a community okay so two strength if you ask us like what is the two strength of your company the first strength is innovation the only way we were able to compete with this billion dollar companies and still getting their uh, good amount of share is through innovation and very strong community all the products that we have built in in our timeline okay if you go to our website it's 1211.io all the products that we are building it's based on a strategy okay this is the product this is the kind of tg that we are targeting and this is how we are catering the need of every tg so that that's that's one of the differentiator i would say Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So I, the, as you were explaining that, I was like, where's this money come from? And so you, we actually put up the money, the players put up the money and then, you know, basically gamble it or put it against each other mm -hmm. in the, in the contest of skill, the winners get the most money, mm -hmm. uh, but the losers get nothing. But when you said that the loot, like I'm a, I'm an average gamer, right? Like I'm not good, but I'm not bad either. I'm just average. So I need to rely on other skills. And so I love the fact that if I bring people in and they talk, they start gaming, that I make money, it, it, it all kind of clicked and connected for me there. But so you're talking about what's already happened. Help me to understand what's in the future. What's the next most exciting things that are coming up for, for 1 to 11 uh, that, that you just can't wait to just tell the world about? Uh, a, uh, that we are very close to launch our IDO. We are in talks with good exchanges, okay? I, I, for I, exchanges, I would say IEO. Having said that, for me, the most exciting part as a builder uh, is is we are coming up with our RPG games. Okay, um, so the two RPG games that we're the, the the that the team is building one is the cricket. Okay, because if you know cricket has more than 1.5 billion fans across the globe, all the Commonwealth countries. Uh, UK, Australia, New Zealand, India. Uh, we we play cricket, and even cricket uh, gonna be um, to 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 give you a fact check. Like 2028 Olympics game, uh, cricket will also be included in that. So cricket gonna be huge. So oh, wow. so so one game the, from the sporting arena that we are bringing out an RPG game uh, that is uh, cricket, uh, where your uh, players, your your t-shirts, your your bats, your balls, and all these sessions will be NFTs. Okay, there's a very strong. I don't have to educate mm -hmm. Aaron or anir or anyone in the ecosystem how to how to play that game one is that the second most ambitious project okay is is we call it evolution x okay where um um where we uh where we are taking human beings from single cellular animal to multicellular animal okay through various ages like stone ages i hope you guys have played um i i, I was a big gamer of uh, this age of empires I, I don't know whether you've played oh, that game. It. Okay. So uh, I'm just, I, I love to give examples so that people can understand what kind of game we are building. So we are actually taking people from single cellular to multicellular animals. Uh, and it not only being entertaining, uh, a lot of fights and a lot of uh, gaming experiences are there, but also it's very educative. Like it's not uh, with all due respect, like I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm always saying I'm a big admirer of Axie, but over here, rather than breeding cute uh, Axies and playing with the cute Axies, you will actually learn how human evolved 
okay how human evolved yeah. in the biological space uh, so it's a great way of learning as well and we, people like the the, may, the initial feedback that we're getting from our users are great great and and the one thing which i want to focus over here uh, there are a lot of great uh, metaverse project uh, as soon as facebook came, came up with the name with meta every third project which i come across is meta 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 <laughs> so so i'm just telling you we are coming up uh, so the idea is to take the the entire community to the metaverse uh, the reason is unfortunately there are a lot of great projects in the metaverse arena but they don't have the community to back it up okay the, uh, that that we have learned from axie infinity they first build the community okay then they are slowly taking it to the world of metaverse okay so in evolution x you can actually uh, not only really play the game they go from generation to generation like from initial ape age to stone age then finally to the modern age and then finally them taking them to the world of metaverse so there is a very strong uh, project which is which we are coming up with and definitely uh, uh, having said that there are multiple projects are also in line not only in the rpg space but uh, the 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 quiz which i which i was talking about the gamified learning uh, every every category of it is coming up uh, with different games uh, the idea is it should not be as you see also that if you see the gaming ecosystem it's mainly dominated by males okay uh, 95% of the gaming users from across the globe are males but the only reason the i i feel one of the reason is is there is no such female oriented games right so we we came up with uh, not came up with uh, is is uh, we we are also coming uh, we we already have our product called uh, fruit slice it's similar to fruit crusher okay aaron so uh, the the strength of the company of building and coming up with these games apart from the rpg games we are not we don't want to reinvent the wheel aaron okay we we are not doing something like ground breaking what we are doing is we are taking an existing concept which is doing great but we see that okay can we take it to 100x can we improve the product just like tesla i am a big big fan of elon musk okay he is he is he came up with a car only but the kind of efficiency the kind of it it sets tesla apart from any other uh, products okay that's that's the same mindset there we are bringing in okay so through product and process innovation so these are the uh, like Uh, two two RPG segment games that I'm very excited along with all our existing ecosystem, uh, and backed by all, awesome. all all by loving users that we have. Awesome, awesome. So, yeah. So from what I heard, you got you have an evolution game, you've got a cricket game, you've got more attention to female oriented games. You got to focus on uh, building a community. Uh, I recommend that you know you go you change your company from one to Meta, and so one to Meta Meta is. <laughs> but I'm just joking. But I I really love the focus here. I I really love the uh, the the direction that everything is going. Uh, guys, if you're watching this video, you know like you you see me. I'm not acting. I am extremely impressed. Is not the right word. Like humbled maybe like you you guys have it all together like who am i to like <laughs> interview you guys and i and what a pleasure it's been I, i i saw that you guys have won awards i saw that you guys have a lot of clout i saw that you guys have a lot of advisors if you want to uh, get into one to eleven check out the links in the description below do your own research don't take my word for it i'm just a lizard brain right do your own research but to me all things are checked all the boxes are checked the team the community the track record the 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 numbers the 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 future like the way to earn is is like very very uh new to me is like revolutionary is this this networking uh way of, of earning so it to me it just seems all correct anyway uh enough for me rambling and here we want to hear from you one last chance one last thing to say if there's a cowboy out here that is like on the fence about 111 uh what is something that you can say and this will be the last question what is something you could say to get to talk to them to say hey this is something you should check out yeah so uh based on my uh like 8 uh, years of entrepreneurial journey i i strongly believe there are three ingredients that makes any company great or uh, that those three ingredients or those three leverages uh we also have in in 1 to 11 like they, the i would say they uh, we i always told my investors that we have all the three uh, leverages or the, all the three ingredients to make the next unicorn okay why it should be a billion dollar company okay uh in the downline and just wait and watch it it will happen because we are solving a big problem the three things are a is to to build any unicorn you need to have uh, high traction okay so we already have that 
numbers speaks louder than the word you can go you can check all those stuff and we have very strong community uh so over 1.5 million users and it's growing it's growing exponentially like it it has grown 300 percent in last three months okay uh from like 220 monthly active users now it's gone to uh, almost 600 plus 800 uh, monthly active users so one is numbers okay second if any company in the space or in be it, be it play to earn be it in uh, blockchain or any other field right they need to have tech innovation is the only way to disrupt any existing model and we are very very good in that okay we are disrupting not only the crypto space but the gaming and the fintech as well because at the end of the day people are making money out of it so the first two things and the third last but not the least everybody will um, will always agree with me that you always bet uh, on the jockey not on the horse so i can tell you this 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 is the team of four uh, co-founders uh, experienced entrepreneurs who have already built successful companies you can go check our linkedin profile do all your due diligence and would love to have you uh, on 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 board uh, in any ways join our community it's not only about investing but definitely this this token has a lot of use use case scenario and already people are playing that 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 so these three things uh, numbers tech and uh, and the team uh, which sets uh, us apart in the journey of uh, unicorn uh, and uh, truly believe on that bro anir thank you so much guys how to build a unicorn by anir numbers tech and the team do your own research anir thank you so much for being on the on the hot seat with me i feel like i was on the hot seat with you guys check out their their links in the description join the community check them out anyways guys don't overthink things get into great projects with a lizard brain grill arms and diamond hands cowboys always ride together we'll see you in the next video cool man